Hello, it's Deborah Lee here and I am coming to you with the answer and solution to a question that one of my uh, clients in my group have asked which is to do with about receiving intuition and guidance. How do you know that you can trust the intuition and the guidance you're receiving particularly when it's for someone else? Um, so first things first check in with your intention your agenda for receiving that information now anyone who's psychic or intuitive which I personally believe fundamentally is all of us I feel it's something that every single individual is naturally born with and it's a part of our experience as souls having a human experience so to, to for someone who is perceiving any kind of energies or receiving any guidance we have to, whenever we're perceiving an energetic matrix, um, we have to understand, we have to appreciate and become aware of the fact that every energetic matrix is working on multi-dimensions and every, every potential reality or thought or idea or energy has the potential to be manifested or to not be manifested based on an individual's free will. So when we're perceiving energy and receiving information, um, the way, one of the key ways to know where that energy is coming from is firstly our intention and our agenda for receiving that information. Secondly, our intention and agenda for sharing that information. And thirdly as well, you'll always know when it's spirit that's guiding you because spirit speaks very simply. It's very straightforward. It's often in metaphors, in visions, in pictures, so instead of being psychics and intuitives or as well as being psychics and intuitives what we actually are is we're translators we're translating we're decoding these energies and then it's really really important as well to ask the person's permission so i could give you an example for example say i received um say i was working with a client and that client wanted me to help them address their relationship with their boss at work so I was working with this client and um, we were between sessions and I received some information regarding this client's experience. When I then reconnect with that client to share the guidance, what I've perceived, what I've picked up, first thing I would do is ask that person's permission, is it okay if I give you my take on this? Is it okay if I give you my reading on what I've picked up? Or are you willing to follow my guidance on that? That's the type of way which a lot of you have experienced who I've done sessions with where I would ask you is that okay for me to share this information can I have your permission and once you have that person's permission then you engage a conversation and if it resonates with the person great if it doesn't that's fine too it's just having it's it's having that sense of clarity before sharing something as well you know how is this going to benefit this person becoming aware of this and are we actually equipping them with tools for how to move forward with this a lot of clients I speak to have been to different psychics or intuitives or different readers or channels or mediums and they've received some kind of information like you're a walk-in soul or um, some kind of really big profound insight or intuition and they literally sometimes feel lost with that information they don't know what to do with it so actually when they're coming to me in a session this they're, they're saying this came up in a session with someone else and I feel kind of it's opened something up for me and now like what do I do with that so this is where it's really really important we have to take responsibility as, as powerful transformational intuitive light workers um, which I fundamentally believe each and every single one of us are for us to be as responsible as possible to really get clear on for what reason what intention what agenda for what purpose we're sharing that information um, because you know the truth is as well spirit trusts us um, spirits bringing us these guidances these wisdoms these insights for a reason and um, if you don't if you receive something if you receive some guidance and for whatever reason you don't want you don't feel inspired or it feels dense or heavy for you to pass on that message that's fine too you can always say to the spirit team please find another messenger that's fine as well I have done that in the past um, particularly when it comes to mediumship receiving information from 
what loved ones who have passed over when they want to channel through you and give a message to someone who's still on the earth plane it can be quite intense and, and humanly it can really be challenging because it challenges our, our personality sometimes our ego because it can it, well for me definitely in that experience I had when I was in my teen years I felt that going up to that person who I didn't know particularly well and giving this message would be way off like um, extremely extremely woo woo <laughs> for, so for me I just it and that was definitely to do with my where I was at and that consciousness at the time um, and my judgment of being spiritual and being intuitive to that level um, so but it, so if you happen to have an experience like that that's fine too spirit will if the message is meant to come through for someone it will find a way whether it's through you or through someone else or through a dream or however it comes through and so so yeah you you even as an intuitive even as a psychic you also have the power of your own free will too and you know check in with your conscience your conscience will never mislead you ever always check in with your conscience you know does it feel like as a result of sharing this insight as a result of sharing this wisdom how will this how will this assist this person to um to become better in themselves in their lives to free their hearts will their life feel lighter will it fill in an answer on an answer question for them will it empower them will it inspire them or am i disempowering them by trying to hack into their lives you know if you find yourself receiving random insights and wisdom about people where people haven't actually come to you to ask full guidance and wisdom but you find yourself just naturally then ask spirit for what reason i'm receiving this information just ask them they'll be open and you'll be surprised as well the answer might not come instantly it might come over 48 hours 72 hours it might even come in a week just stay open um be patient be receptive and allow spirit to guide you allow your cosmic support team to guide you and they they really will you'll be surprised actually it's like any other friendship or relationship or intimate relationship or, or, or even a relationship with friends and family it's the exact same thing over time we build up trust we build up connection we build up relativity with each other it's exactly the same with building your relationship with your cosmic support team and your spirit council so i really encourage you to to engage with this and um i hope that um this answers the question that was asked for you and um if you have any more questions please comment below um send me a personal message or tag me in a post in the group and um i will see you again very soon lots of love Ciao for now.